What's up guys, Coach Joe here at the Lions Den located in Colmar, PA. So if you're ever in the area, come and check out this gym. What we're gonna be talking about in this video is specialty bars, okay? So if you belong to a strength sport gym or your commercial gym maybe, you've probably seen different bars that are not like a standard barbell, and that's what we call specialty bars. So I'm gonna go through this video, first off talk about why we may use specialty bars, and then I'm gonna give you guys two of my favorite specialty bars for the bench, the deadlift, and the squat. And if you have any bars that you love, please drop them down below in the comment section. Uh, but this video is just purely to help people educate them on the bars. And maybe if you guys haven't used them before, you should try. All right, so why would we use specialty bars? Well, the first reason that pops to my mind is specificity, meaning that it's either in a competition or say we have some sort of training goal that we wanna test or max out and it requires that bar, we're gonna to need to use that, okay? Now, the second one is going to be for variation, right? When we're programming, sometimes things get boring or they get monotonous, we need to find a way to change it up. And by having different bars is a great way to change up the monotony. And on top of that, some of these bars have different attributes that allow us to either work certain muscle groups or play with range of motion. So they're really cool tools to have. Now the last one when it comes to specialty bars is gonna be working around injuries. If you've been training for some time, I'm sure you've had bumps, bruises, aches, pains, that type of thing. And these bars may provide you a way to train around those aches and pains or minimize the pain uh, by either working with the regulation of the weight or just the grip angle of certain bars, etc. Uh, so if you guys have these tweaks, try some of these bars out with your movements and see if it helps. All right, so we're gonna talk about my two favorite bars for bench pressing. And spoiler, you can actually use every single one of these bars we're about to talk about for pressing, uh, but we're gonna stick to the bench press for now. So right off the bat, I love using the Rogue Multi-Grip Bar, okay? So this is great uh, because it can either go this way or you can flip it upside down, okay? It has angled grips, which may just feel better on your shoulders. Uh, and there's a ton of different grip positions that you can use. So we have wide grip into a closer and then a really narrow grip. So if you wanted to train those triceps or you wanted to limit how much weight you could do, you may bring your grip in a little bit. And often I find this is just a great variation uh, to strengthen weak areas and also help with injuries of the shoulders. And like I said, you could press with it, you could row with it. So a lot of bang for your buck uh, with this. Now the one little addition, I'll say it's like the 1.5 of the two exercises. This is a great bar, but if you have a football bar, which is just like this, instead of angle grips, the grips are neutral grip, that's fine as well. We use that a lot here. Uh, I just prefer this one a little bit more over the football bar. All right, bar number two. This may be one of my most favorite bars on planet Earth. I've done a whole video about it, which you can find right above here, but it's going to be the Elite FTS American Cambered Bar. Okay, reason I love this more than the multi-grip bar is because of the camber right here. So if we bench it this way, we're actually gonna get a deficit, so increased range of motion. Now if we flip it upside down, okay, we basically have a board or a block press. So when I'm doing hypertrophy work, for example, I really love that extra range of motion for the stimulus that I get to my upper body. However, if I'm doing strength training, Usually I like to use it almost as a board or block press. And for where I'm at right now, having a little bit of a shoulder tweak, I've been benching uh, with that block or shortened range of motion, and it just feels better on my shoulder and still allows me to do the bench press. So on top of that, guys, there's a ton of different grip variations you can use here, whether it's on this side or this side. You can also row with it, gives you a little bit of a deficit. Uh, but like I said, I've done a whole video about it. One of my most favorite bars. I do not get paid or anything off of promoting this whatsoever. I just feel like you have the extra cash, 100% worth the investment. All right, so when it comes to deadlift bars, I have two that I absolutely love. Some of them are more specific for competition. Other ones are just great for all around use and purpose. So the first one's gonna be the Rogue Trap Bar. This is actually gifted to me by Alan Thrall from Untamed Strength. Just very grateful for it. We've used this so much. I've actually made a whole video on why I like it above, so just click that. It's gonna give you a ton of information. Uh, but when we're talking about the bar itself, what I really love about this bar is the additional length you get on the collars. Usually a standard trap bar doesn't have that long of a collar, so you can put a lot of plates, specifically iron plates on there, to lift a lot of weight, especially if you have a lot of strong guys at the gym. Other thing I like is honestly just the make of it. Like, ready? Like, you hear that? that? That's just the sound of solid. 
okay? That's the sound of a solid piece of trap bar. Uh, so, love it for that. It's made by Rogue, usually Rogue puts out good stuff. Then on top of that, we got this knurling, okay? I think this is a perfect knurling texture uh, for a trap bar. Some of them that I've used are either non-existent or they're almost way too aggressive. This is kind of just a perfect knurling uh, for a trap bar, so I really like that. Then the last feature I'll talk about is that if you're pulling a regular height, okay, this is set this way. Now if I wanted to pull from a deficit, all I'd have to do is just flip this bar upside down and use these handles. But trap bar is phenomenal, very easy to use, easy to coach, a lot of different uh, things you can do with it, very versatile, you know, farmer walks, shrugs, presses, deadlifts, right, good stuff. All right, second bar when it comes to deadlift. Now this one is just very specific for me and that is the axle bar, okay? Reason I like the axle bar is because I use it all the time in strongman events, whether we're doing uh, deadlifts, clean and presses, or just pressing with it, okay? This is just a great bar to have. One of the reasons I really love it is because they're cheap, okay? It's a cheap bar and you can use it for almost anything. And then on top of that, it really works your grip. Okay, so if you're looking for a stiff bar that works your grip, an axle's the way to go. And like I said, there's plenty of things you can use it for, uh, but this is just a great deadlift variation, especially if you compete in strength sports. All right guys, coming to the end here, we're gonna talk about my two favorite bars for squatting, okay, that are specialty bars. And this first one, I use all the time. Okay, it's actually funny because I used to see this bar in like the corner of commercial gyms, nobody was using it. And now I see it way more popularized and I'm very, very, very pumped about that. And that is gonna be the SSB bar, okay? So there are a bunch of companies that make the SSB bar. You know, figure out what's in your budget and which one you like, and obviously pick that one. But this is well used in our gym. Uh, one of the reasons I like it is just for the variation purpose, okay? It gives you that mixture of a front and a back squat. Uh, more importantly why I like it is if your shoulders are banged up or tweaked, okay, all you have to do is grab the handles. It makes it way more easier than trying to get your arms around a barbell, especially a stiff bar. So this is great for that. Uh, but I've seen people do front squats with it. I've seen people do Hatfield squats with it. Uh, and then obviously just do regular squats with it. Uh, but great for, you know, working around injuries, great for variation, and then uh, just building squat strength in general. All right guys, last bar that we have here when it comes to squats, that's gonna be the camber bar. Okay, the camber bar just freaking looks badass, and it is, uh, but I really like using this bar because my shoulders get pretty banged up. So with this, I'm able to either grab down low or on the sides here, so I don't have to worry so much about my shoulder mobility. The other thing about this is it requires some technique because the bar tends to swing. It's not very forgiving. So you have to make sure that you're dialed in with the squat. Uh, and often I find I can't go super duper heavy with this because of that swing. So it keeps me in check and it's great for fatigue management. So if you guys are looking for something that's gonna help uh, if you have poor shoulder mobility or you just want something with good variation uh, and something that looks really cool when you're squatting, okay, this is the one for you. All right, so that's what we got on tap for today, guys. Wanted to give you some examples of specialty bars that I use here at the Lion's Den. If you have them in your gym and you use them, awesome. Comment down below with what your favorite ones are. If you haven't used them, give them a shot, okay? There's a bunch of different ones. We have some that I don't have at the moment, but I'm continually trying to grow You know what we have here at the gym, and you're gonna see in our future upcoming gym tour video from where it was to where it's at today, and it's always just an evolving project, all right? So if you guys can, make sure you like, subscribe. Also, follow my boy Sebastian on Instagram. He's absolutely killing it. He's gorgeous. I love him. All right, if you guys are looking for programming, make sure you go to zatstrength.net. And if you want to use the programming app, it's zatstrength.programs.app. Uh, and just, yeah, we love those programs, guys. So just keep buying them. <laughs> and uh, say a lean, mean, strength machine. Catch up with you next time.